Hi, I'm Chris School with Geeks On Tour, and this is Fun With Photos. In case you don't know, I'm Chris School. This is my, my husband, Jim. We are Geeks On Tour, and I am a Google Photos product expert by Google. And the pictures I'm going to be showing you is where Google flew me over to London for a conference. So organize and share your travel photos. I'm going to be using Google Photos and the Albums feature. Now, you can do similar things with Apple's iCloud Photos, with Amazon Photos, with OneDrive. I do think Google Photos has just the slickest and easiest way of managing them. And probably my number one point is don't be like the people that say, oh, I took so many pictures on my vacation, it's going to take me a week to organize them all when I get back. No, do it as you go. You can do it right on your phone, or if you brought a laptop, you can do that. Create an album on day one. Share a link to that album with all your friends and family. Then they are seeing it and commenting on it. Trust me, it makes you more aware of posting photos when you're getting the comments from your friends and family. They get notified when you add more pictures and they can like and comment. So if you follow that, by the time you get home, you're all done. All your travel photos are in an album and you've already shared it with everybody. I'm going to do that. You have to pretend to go back to October 14 with me. So on October 14, we got on a plane to go to London. I want to start an album right away. I like to have a picture of us on the plane. And so there we are. You just click the three dots and add to album. Now this is on the computer. I'll be doing some of this. On, I'll, I'll go back and forth between computer and phone, but computer, and I'm going to say new album. And just to distinguish this from all the other ones I've done, I'm going to call it TFS, Tech for Senior Geeks in London. Here's one thing that's brand new with Google Photos albums, and I, I don't use it yet, so I'm just going to click on remove for these highlights. So it's TFS Geeks in London and click the check mark. Now I want to go add another picture, so I'll go back. I love taking pictures of these maps that are in the back of the seat on the airplane, and I take a bunch of them. I am not going to add all of those. Be selective. Choose your best to add to the album. So I click the three dots, add to album, and TFS Geeks in London. So now I have an album with two pictures. I'm going to share it right now. I'm not going to wait. So I click on the TFS. I click the share button, which is up in the upper right. And you share with a link. So create link and create link and copy. Now I'm going to paste that. All right, so I'm pasting the link to everybody. Now, if you do not use Google, then you will still be able to see the photos. If you do use Google, you will see another button called Join. If you click Join, then that means when I add more photos, you will be notified. It also means you'll be able to add comments. So everybody, please click on that link. And I can see already that people have joined. I can look at my album and up here at the top, I see the people who have joined. I click the little three dots and I can see all the names of the people who have joined. Way cool. When you're traveling, I can't express, it's just really nice to know that there are people following along with you. All right, so now I'm going to go to the phone and I'm going to add a few more pictures. So as I say, it doesn't matter whether you're on a computer or the phone, everything is still there. You will need an internet connection at least once in a while. You can do this without an internet connection, but it doesn't get sent. 
until you do. So I'm going to go to October 15 now. And this is when we arrived in London and Google was there with people ready to drive us to the, uh, the hotel. So I add that. And those of you who have joined should be getting a notification that I just added. And I can go to October. Oh, here's, here's one. A lot of you know Michael Daniels, so I'm going to add his picture to that album. I can also add multiple. I'm on October 15 now, and that was the first party. In the evening, there was the first party. And I want to add that picture. I'll select it. And that video, and that picture, and that picture. So I have selected four. I can now tap the plus, add to TFS Geeks in London. So all four get added. Now if I go look at the album on my phone here, I'm looking at albums under library and TFS Geeks in London. And has anybody written a comment? I can see by this little button here, this means show me any comments or activities. And there's a comment. Richard, yes. It's like actually being there when someone is traveling. Yes, I know that Richard did follow us while we were there and left comments, so I knew he was watching and with us. It's such a nice feeling. And as I say, because of that, you tend to add pictures more often. Say, oh, so-and-so would love to see this. So you add it. And by the time you're home, you have organized your travel pictures. Then when you're home, let me go back to the computer. Okay. How are you doing? doing? And so now I want to show you. Oh, and on, on the phone you saw when I cl clicked on comments, it changed the whole screen. On the phone, you're either looking at your album or you're looking at comments. On the computer, you can see the comments and the activity over on the right-hand side while you see the album on the left-hand side. Now I want to take you back to the, the real album that I did make because it has 250. It has 250 some odd pictures in it. Well, we were gone for six weeks all total, and I, I believe in not adding more than six or seven pictures per day, but I do add that. So here is our entire six weeks trip, and it's all done because I was doing it as we go. I'm home now. What do I want to do? I want to back that up. I open the album. I click the three dots and download all. And I download it to an external drive. I won't take the time right now. But the other thing I do then is make a book. Since every all of my best pictures for this six week trip is in one album, all I have to do is open that album, click the little shopping button, and say, make me a photo book and it's done. Now you can, you can edit it, you can rearrange it, you can add, add and subtract, but you don't have to. You can just say, make me a book, click next, pay your money, and you get a book like this in the mail. So that is my way of organizing and sharing my travel photos using Google Albums. Mm -hmm.